So immune therapy is an exciting new treatment modalities that uh, sort of appeared over the last few years. It harnesses the power of our immune system to fight cancer. Uh, that is through uh, intravenous medication that is given uh, every two or three weeks. Uh, in the majority of the time, they are very well tolerated without any unpleasant side effects. Uh, we're excited that recently in upper GI cancer, there has been approval for treatment with immune therapy in oesophageal or gullet cancer and stomach cancer. So immune therapy in upper GI cancer can treat the two common types of cancers in this part of the body. We usually say adenocarcinoma or squamous cell carcinoma. Both of them can benefit from treatment for uh, immune therapy, particularly the oesophagus and the stomach. And I'm sure in time, other upper GI uh, organs will be uh, suitable for treatment with immune therapy as well. So recently we've had the results of, from clinical trials that uh, informed us that treatment with immune therapy uh, can benefit patients with upper GI cancers after uh, surgery where there is some potential cancer left behind. Immune therapy is very effective in this uh, position to re limit the risk of the cancer recurring. Also for cancer that has spread from oesophagus or stomach cancer, treating with immune therapy alongside chemotherapy in certain patients that has led to improvement in outcomes, uh, including uh, preventing the cancer from coming back and uh, patients live longer by adding immune therapy to chemotherapy. So immune therapy is uh, like everything. It doesn't work for everybody, so it's not guaranteed 100%, but it, it can apply to a large number of people, particularly in upper GI cancers. Uh, the nice thing about immune therapy, it's very well tolerated and it doesn't cause a lot of unpleasant uh, adverse effects for patients. If it works, it can work really well where we've seen some patients that cancer has completely disappeared and it has not come back for a long period of time. So although this is a small number, but it offers a huge potential for patients with this type of cancers. Like with everything, all treatments have got potential uh, adverse effects. Uh, the drugs are, for the majority of patients, will be completely safe and, and patients will have no untoward effects. For a small number of patients, their treatment are associated with potential allergic reaction or inflammation that can affect multiple parts of the body. Uh, luckily, it doesn't happen all at once, but it can affect certain uh, organs that will limit the use for immune therapy for these patients in the future. 